In your crime watch tonight, Midland police seeing a spike in scams in the tall city. Officials tell us they've dealt with triple the amount of calls on scams this month compared to last month. And the scams aren't only happening in Midland. Local 2's Tyler Westner has a story. We've had some victims give tens of thousands of dollars to these people, and they keep doing it, doing it, doing it. 18 calls about scams, and that's what's been reported to Midland Police in the month of August, up from just six in July. Something alarming for Midland Police Officer Keenan Goodnight. One I've seen twice already in the last month is younger people are getting scammed. You usually hear about older people getting scammed, the elderly, but even the young ones are getting hit now. These scams not exclusive to MPD, though, as Heather Massey with the Better Business Bureau also seeing a rise in ripoffs. This on a daily basis, people are always looking for something new, whether it's an IRS scam, a jury scam. This is their job. It's their way to make money. Massey says if you become a scam target, be persistent to find out if it's really true. When you get a phone call from someone you don't know, it's always recommended to ask questions. An electric company is not going to call you and tell you they're going to shut off power. You're going to receive notices through the mail. That's just how they operate. That's what happened to Mission Fitness in Odessa, where General Manager John Dowsett tells me they got a call Friday from an electrical company claiming the workout facility was late on their payments and they would shut off their power. Kind of alarmed me at first. Actually, that's your first reaction. And then as I calmed down and started thinking about it, it just didn't make sense. Dowsett says when he called them back, there were two people who answered, both claiming to be different electrical companies. The person working our front desk took the note, of course was worried, and then we started thinking through the process and realized, you know, we have generators, we're a hospital. It's a company we don't do business with. Now, there are ways to report scams on the Better Business Bureau website. If you'd rather do that, then file a police report.